Homicide 1916, the case of 24-year-old Hannah Wilson. Hannah Wilson was convicted of the murder of her illegitimate two-year-old child, Matthew Wilson, and sentenced to death, but her sentence was commuted. The child's body was found in Brook Pond, Washington, near Newcastle, in a sack, and a length of string was found tied around its neck. The pond was near a cork works in Washington Station. The sack was found on the 1st of September 1916. Hannah Wilson had been a single woman and a cork worker. She had given birth to Matthew Wilson on the 2nd of August 1914, but had not received any allowance from the father and was compelled to go first with the child to Gateshead Workhouse and then into Chesterley Street Workhouse. After Christmas 1915, she got a job as a cork worker in Washington and came out of the workhouse and went to live with a woman in Washington. Her wages had been 11 shillings 6d per week, out of which she had to pay 7 shillings for herself and 3 shillings for her child, leaving her in a state of poverty. However, the child had been fretful, and the woman said that she could not do with her, and so Hannah Wilson was put out to nurse with another woman for 3 shillings 6d per week, while she herself stayed with the previous woman. However, the child was only there for three weeks, as the woman said that she had to leave the district, and about the end of March, Hannah Wilson said that she was going to take the child to meet a woman on the bridge, who had promised to convey him to her sisters in Felling. She then went to collect Matthew Wilson, and told the woman that she was taking him to Riverside, and the woman dressed him, and Hannah Wilson took him away, after which Matthew Wilson was never seen alive again. When she was later asked how Matthew Wilson was doing, Hannah Wilson said, He is going on champion. She later said, I have given the child away. I have signed my hand, and I haven't to bother any more about him as it makes him fret. In August 1915, her landlady asked her how her child was, and Hannah Wilson told her that he was in good hands, and that the woman that she had given him to had left Washington and gone to live at Shields, but was unable to give the exact whereabouts. The landlady asked Hannah Wilson to find out where he was, but heard nothing more about it. In May 1916, Hannah Wilson went to live with a woman, who, when she asked whether it was true that she had had a child, denied it, describing the allegations as a lie. However, in September 1916, some children playing in the clay hole pond near the cork works pulled out a sack from the water and found that it contained the body of a child weighed down with a brick. It was later found that the clothes that the child had been dressed in matched those that Matthew Wilson was last known to have been wearing. When Hannah Wilson was arrested, she said that she had been out of her mind and that she had taken Matthew Wilson to the water and put him in the sack and done away with him. It was noted that Hannah Wilson had been very fond of Matthew Wilson and had gone out to work and several witnesses testified that she herself had had a hard upbringing, it being alleged that her father had ill-treated her. She was sentenced to death at the Durham Assizes on Monday the 13th of November 1916 but reprieved by the Home Secretary on Thursday the 16th of November 1916.